Hello everybody, um, in this video right here, I'm going to show you guys how to diagnose a a, um, a coolant leak on your car, okay? I've got a 2015 Honda Civic SI Coupe here, and I do have a coolant leak somewhere on my engine. I don't know if it's coming from the thermostat housing, or the hoses, or the radiator. Um, hey Luna. So, it's my blue healer, she's going to be my assistant for tonight. So what you want to do is make sure the car is cold, make sure it hasn't been running for at least like 30 minutes. So your uh, fluid is nice and cold. You don't want to get burned. So what you do is um, uh, you get one of these, <coughs> these pressure testers for your radiator, radiator pressure tester right here. And if I find one on Amazon, I'll link it in the description below for y'all. Okay. And um, basically, it comes with that and like different parts for your radiator. Um, so you just want to find whatever part it comes with for your radiator. And you just replace it. You take the radiator cap off and then um, you put that on there. <coughs> so once you build it right, let me get my flashlight. <coughs> so you put the first one on right there. And then you put the cap on right here and it locks it in place. It's locked whenever this is loose, okay? And then most cars are from like a 16 to 20 PSI. So newer cars are gonna be up to like 20 PSI. So basically what you wanna do is just pump this up. Pump it all the way to 20. Try to do it with one hand here, guys. All right, let's see where's that at. Okay, there we go, 20. All right, so while that's right there, you got it at 20. Make sure you put it in a nice spot where it won't fall. So, so we have it at 20 right here. All right, and I got it at like 19, 19 PSI. So now what you wanna do, you can just leave it here for like 30 minutes, right? If it changes, if it gets lower and lower and lower within that time frame, then you know you got a leak, so. But if you're, you're like kind of in a hurry, what you can do is, Okay, while well, that's sitting like that, um, so we have it around like 19 PSI. So you just go around to the hoses, all the coolant hoses, and start squeezing them, moving them around. You know, just grab them and squeeze them, move them around and shit. And then um, while you're doing that, you want to do one at a time. So you're just looking at your, your gauge right here. Look at your gauge, grab a hose, and wiggle it. Squeeze it. Wiggle it, and if the gauge moves moves down further, then that's probably your hose right there, and then you want to check your hose on both sides. So in my instance, on my car, I do have a radiator leak, uh, coolant leak. So I found out it was my hose right here that goes to my um, thermostat housing right there. So this little tiny hose, not too bad, it's probably like a $10 part, if that. And um, yeah, I just gotta replace that. But I saw an indicator that I did have a coolant leak because whenever coolant leaks in your car, it's gonna be like a corrosion kind of uh, looking thing, kind of like barnacle, you know, corrosion. It's gonna be kind of greenish. Um, but yeah, you can see a little bit right there. I did clean it up earlier, but uh, there's a little bit of corrosion on the bottom of that hose right there on that clamp. <coughs> and whenever I wiggle this, this hose, the PSI does start going down very, very slowly. It's a teeny tiny, teeny tiny leak, like a hairpin leak. But yeah, that's how you find a coolant leak with a pressure tester. Make sure you never start the car whenever you have this hooked up. Never ever start the car. And you never want to do this whenever the car is hot. So always make sure your car is not hot. Um, 
and then you can pressure test it when you get done with it all you do this is the um, unlock mechanism you just want to go right or left on it I just go righty tighty see you hear it okay I just released all the pressure and then you go like that turn it like this and then turn it left and then boom it comes off all right then you unlock it like that okay and back to normal and then this piece comes off just like that and <coughs> radiator cap now your radiator cap can leak too so you just got to make sure there's no corrosion around your your inlet for your radiator right here which i don't see any so radiator cap also if your if your car is overheating and it's not your thermostat or anything like that it might be your radiator cap because this does move the fluid through your radiator system all right it's got like a it's got like a uh, mechanism in here so always replace your radiator cap if you if you're having heating problems overheating problems just to make sure cheap super cheap to get a new one of those instead of getting a radiator um instead of getting a uh, thermostat <coughs> all right guys and some cars have two thermostats too so um i believe i think mine just has one though on a civic i've never replaced them yet on a civic before but uh it looks pretty easy just gotta take the air duct out and then it's pretty much right there so yep that's how you pressure test guys oh yeah you see that corrosion right there, right on the bottom of that hose. Yeah. Like what I said, I did wipe it up earlier, so I shouldn't have done that. But I didn't think I was going to make a video. <laughs> Got a little bit of coolant down there from fucking with the radiator. Should clean that up. All right, guys. I got some other car videos in, on my YouTube channel. Go check them out. Might help you out. Later, guys. Bye.